In November, I know it was a long time ago, but really not that long ago, I went on a cruise to Cozumel, Mexico in the key west of Florida, but I lost a lot of my footage with audio and I was left with a lot of footage without audio, so I didn't know if I was going to upload it. But I decided to do it anyway and just do like a voiceover on some parts and add music on others. So bear with me, I really wanted to show you guys this travel vlog. Um, the beginning of the vlog is missing, I didn't really record a lot in what I had, it just, it just didn't work out. But I believe we went to South Beach, Florida or... I don't know some part of Florida we went to this restaurant called the pink so wherever that is that's the area we were we were in and the big pink is an amazing amazing restaurant I would highly recommend if anybody is in that area near it around it 20 minutes by it 30 minutes by it whatever go I got a waffle cheeseburger a waffle burger yes it was as amazing as it sounds like, I wish I could go back so bad. We didn't have enough time to go back after the cruise, but like, I dream about that place. I Look up the pictures. I can't explain it. Just look up the pictures of the food. It looks exactly like it is in the restaurant. All the meals are like bigger than my face. It's like totally worth going there. But yeah, so we went there and then we headed off to the cruise. So this vlog is going to take place like around the time we were going into the cruise. because we had to be off the we only had like three hours really to be in Key West which I thought was weird we were there from pretty much like 7 to 11 or noon or whatever everybody had to be back on the boat by 12 30 and they t we went on these trolleys into town and everything I swear looked like a house everything was built like a house you're like oh that house is nice oh it's a real estate office oh that house is nice oh it's a breakfast place so the Key West is really like, I feel like it's just all tourist, touristy things to do. Um, it's not really a party place or anything like that. It's just like attractions. I feel like if you really want to do stuff, you have to go along the beach, which some people were able to do if they just got in a car and went straight there, but we didn't have time to do that. We only had enough time to shop and pretty much eat. So that's what we did. We picked up some souvenirs and then... We went to this little Cuban restaurant, so that was pretty fun. Okay, so here I am, like, talking a bunch. This is what, I was so upset because I was talking a lot, and it was really weird trying to do this for the first time. And, like, the sound was gone. The sound had disappeared. I was like, no! Why did this happen to, happen to me? But I'm, I'm not going to talk during this whole video. Oh, and that, that's one of the coolest things about the Key West, which I don't know if that sounds dorky, but they have a lot of free roosters roaming around. So I'm from the city, so we only have like geese and pigeons, and like the roosters were just walking around. There was like dozens and dozens of them. So what happened was like, I think in like the 80s, there was a lot of like Cubans like fighting roosters and stuff, and they outlawed it. So the Cubans like released all the roosters into the areas, and ever since then they've just been roaming free. So if you have like geese or whatever random birds in your area, and just roam around, this is how they do it. And like it was really cool because they would just walk up to you. They wouldn't be afraid. I've never had a, a rooster walk up to me. And this guy, I think these were his pets. Because he was coming in and feeding them and they were like waiting for him so that was cool
So now we're at the oldest house in the Key West. It's just like a nice free attraction to do. That's kitchen I'm pointing at. That's what people had to cook at because it was too hot to cook in the house. So they had to keep everything separate because it was like, I think the guy told me the hottest or the coldest it ever gets there is 75 degrees. And that's how time it was at like 9 o'clock in the morning when we got there. So that the camera looks a bit foggy is because pretty much everything was hot. Nothing. You go into a store, it wasn't cold. The house wasn't cold that we went into. Everything was pretty much like warm or like humid. So everything was in its original state that we saw. This was pretty much like one floor, a one floor house. And it just went over like how people lived and what people went through when they went there. The guy that owned the house, I think it was in like the 1800s, he had nine daughters. And pretty much they kept the house up until they all got married except for one and she just stayed there and they just talked about like how hard it was living during that time and the weather from people who came from areas where they were like dozens and dozens of skirts and it was chilly out most of the time to coming someplace like this where they had to deal with the rain and like like muddy conditions and things like that he told us that the house was in a different location and what they did was they built their house on logs so they could just move the logs and take mules and drag the house to a different uh, place so that it would be in a better location and that's what they did. So this is a kid's room. Everything pretty much looked like this. The bed was held together by like string and stuff so it wasn't like nailed or anything. Everything was made so that it could slide into it into itself not like be nailed or hammered in. But I just think it's cool seeing how people used to live and how they survived. It helps get like some ideas of what you can do in your own house too. So and everything was heavy too. He said all the furniture is made from real wood. What you trying to buy? You trying to sell me some weed? You look good. Don't buy it. To Mexico. I haven't really been vlogging because I haven't had time to. It's not really much time to do anything. And you can't have cameras and stuff in a lot of places, which is surprising. But we're just out here chilling, enjoying the day in Mexico. You talking about this side is paradise, that side is San Francisco. That's stupid as hell, bro. For real. What's the difference? You gotta pay extra three dollars. No, they have their mind. For real. Just to what? Five feet. If you go to Mexico, be careful. They're gonna try to get as much money out of you as possible in the tourist areas, especially because if you're from America, the dollar is like worth way more than their actual pesos. So you just have to watch it. But if you do stuff within the tourist areas and then you get information about it there, you can pretty much be on your own out there. You just have to watch people trying to scam you. Well, a lot of times when you rent stuff or you get stuff in the tourist area, you get like free meals and a free like free drinks and things like that because you rent it with them. So they'll send you to a specific restaurant or something. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Gosh, she almost this guy just almost like hit the whole place with the jet ski, and he stopped like just last minute. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go eat. We're gonna go fight. We rented a scooter. It was like sixty five dollars, and we got this place with the margarita tour. And 
a tequila tour or something like that. So we're gonna go try to find this place. We rented a scooter. So we're gonna go out and see if we can find where it is. But yeah, if I don't vlog again, I'll try to vlog us on the scooter, but I only have my phone, so it might be kind of hard. But until then, I'll see you guys later on in the vlog. So now we're in El Cedro. It's like a small Mexican city with Mayan ruins. So we're headed to the Mayan ruins right now. It's a pretty quiet town. Everything's really nice. Oh, here's the church. Let me get let me get a better view. Very peaceful. They probably do. Probably where babies get baptized. Mm -hmm. Holy water. Holy water. Yeah, Don't you get baptized over holy water? Right, but when you come into like a Catholic church, you touch the holy water and you do the cross. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. It's nice and quiet. It's very peaceful. They got like three things here. They don't have. They have a church, they have a restaurant, and they have the Mayan temples.
hotel room. Not our hotel room, our boat room. It's like the last day we're gonna be at sea and then we go home tomorrow. So we're gonna try and get some sun for the last day. We're just gonna try to stay out as long as possible until the sun isn't up anymore. It was really hard trying to vlog anything yesterday on a mo moped because you're moving and bumping and doing all sorts of stuff. So it's kind of hard. I almost dropped my phone, so I was like, fuck it. It's not worth it. But yeah, we've just been chilling out this morning watching Scooby-Doo. I don't know if you can see it, but we've been watching Scooby-Doo, eating breakfast, just chilling, relaxing. We want to sleep in because we've been waking up at like 7 every day this week and going to bed at like 12, trying to get the most of it. So yeah, I guess... I'll see you all later and whatever I vlog next. Thank you. Thought we weren't gonna make it on the plane, but we did. Yeah. 